There's the retraction of the first of the servicing towers. The uh, second tower now uh, is beginning uh, to retract. The automated launch sequence underway, standing by for main engine start. Main engine start initiated. Turbo pumps and engines up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 68th Progress resupply craft bound on a two-day journey to the International Space Station. Good roll, yaw, and pitch program reported. Good parameters. Stage one engines operating normally. The Soyuz boosters arcing out to the northeast. The vehicle is reported to be in good stable configuration. Coming up on the one minute mark into the flight. Good pressure in the uh, combustion chambers. A good ride so far for the Progress resupply craft. All the control systems are reported to be in good shape as uh, we pass the 90-second mark into the flight. All engines operating normally. Standing by for first stage shutdown and separation. Yaw pitch and roll program is all normal. And we've had confirmation of uh, first stage separation. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, uh, the vehicle uh, traveling 4,500 miles an hour, 29 miles in altitude, 29 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. All structural parameters are reported to be normal. Second stage engine performance reported nominal from the blockhouse down in Baikonur. All control systems are reported to be in excellent shape. Just over three minutes into the flight. It will take eight minutes, 46 seconds for the uh, progress to reach its preliminary orbit. And the shroud uh, has been jettisoned covering uh, the Progress 68 cargo craft now exposed uh, to its own space travel. Second stage engines continue to perform normally. Three and a half minutes into the flight. The Soyuz booster traveling more than 6,000 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 125 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. About uh, one more minute uh, left in second stage performance. The uh, third stage uh, will ignite uh, before the separation of the second stage in what is called a hot stage firing. The second stage engines continue to fire normally, four minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Yaw pitch and roll program, all normal. Liftoff again occurred at uh, 3.46 and 53 seconds a.m. Central Time. 
4.46 a.m. and 53 seconds Eastern Time, 2.46 p.m. at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. All uh, Soyuz booster uh, parameters are normal. Four minutes, 47 seconds into the flight, standing by for second stage shutdown and separation. And we've had uh, third stage ignition, second stage shutdown and separation. The uh, Progress 68 riding atop uh, the singular power of the third stage engines right now for the remainder of powered flight. Coming up on the five and a half minute mark into the flight. All vehicle parameters are reported to be normal. The flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karayov standing by uh, to take over control of the Progress's journey to the International Space Station after third stage shutdown and separation. Coming up on the six minute mark into the flight, uh, the uh, third stage of the Soyuz booster traveling almost 11,000 miles an hour, 115 miles in altitude, some 472 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Good performance from that third stage engine. No issues reported. About uh, two minutes of powered flight remaining. Vehicle very stable, good third stage performance. Yaw pitch and roll program continues uh, to perform normally for the uh, Soyuz booster's upper stage and the uh, Progress 68 cargo craft. The uh, vehicle traveling more than 13,000 miles an hour, 124 miles in altitude. All parameters are normal, about one minute of powered flight remaining. Eight minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. About 30 seconds or so of uh, powered flight remaining. Everything is stable and looking good. Yaw pitch and roll program is all normal as we stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Third stage shutdown, spacecraft separation reported. Standing by for navigational antenna and solar array deploy. And the report uh, from the Russian Mission Control Center is that uh, all navigational antennas and solar arrays have been deployed as planned 
So a perfect ascent to orbit, uh, two days behind schedule, but uh, safe and sound nonetheless, as the Progress 68 has entered its uh, preliminary orbit, headed on a two-day journey to the International Space Station.